Hello, hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost, and in this brief video I will show how to download and install Autodesk Civil 3D 2021. First, you need to download your files and my general recommendation is that you do an offline installation, meaning that you first download all your files, it's about 9 gigabytes, and then you start installation when you are ready. By default, you may see that uh, default installation method is web-based or install now, which means that uh, you do need to have quite good internet connection during installation. But why I do recommend to download files first, it's mainly because then you have your files and you can do reinstallation or installation to different computers at any time. And it's much easier. So you can find those files for download from Autodesk official websites like autodesk.com, you search Civil 3D and then download free trial. If you are a current educational user, then you can log in to autodesk.com education and you can find 2021 also from there. Or if you are current Autodesk user, educational or business user, then you can also log in to Autodesk account, manage.autodesk.com, selecting your product, version and few downloads. Then you can select a method how you want to download it. As I pointed out, my preferred method is download now, not install now, not browser download. If I select download now, I do a left click and I'm using Autodesk Download Manager. Once I select it, then I can see Autodesk Download Manager. I can select my folder to where I want to download. Usually I do it to my portable drive and I can easily reinstall or install this software to different machines. So I select or point to a folder to where I want to download and then I just hit OK and the download starts. I do hit pause right now because I already have those files. As you see, it's about 9 gigabytes. So I cancel this time, but instead, and also closing this download manager, and I show you this same folder after download has been finished. If this download is finished, actually the installation starts automatically, but you can cancel it and maybe do installation at later times, which is the case I'm using right now. So I have my files already here and to be sure to show that it's about 8.5 gigabytes all files that are needed to install Civil 3D 2021. So next step will be to double click this setup exe. Sometimes you may need to do a right click and then run as administrator. Okay, let's do a double click on this setup.exe. Of course, you need to check that uh, you don't have any broken installation. Autodesk Civil 3D can be also installed as several versions into the same machine. So, uh, for example, 2021, and maybe you also want to have 2019 or 2020. Of course, it takes the same amount or approximately same amount of space. So, uh, if you are good to go, then uh, one version is enough and all your plugins are also working with the latest version. So this is my installation screen and uh, you can go directly to install. But before I do that, I want to point out that you have release notes, system requirements. You also have some uh, tools and utilities, but uh, I skip that and go to directly to main installation. So I click install. So 2021, let's see what are the options. First of all, country or region, okay, I skip this, other countries is good, I do, I accept, having reading through this license and service agreement, I then click next, and now I can tune up my installation settings. So you see Civil 3D, this is just one component, I do a left click, and then I have a selection of different uh, tools and utilities or components. So of course I do want to have Autodesk App Manager, maybe also Autodesk Featured Apps Plugin, Performance Reporting Tool, maybe, maybe not, I skip this time. You can also add those extra features later times, firing up installation again. I also want to have Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis, which is a separate product, and of course Sub-Assembly Composer, this is good to go. Autodesk Patch Save Utility, sometimes valuable. And as we see, 
We also have Dynamo for Autodesk Civil 3D 2021. Of course, I do want to have that. Installation type, typical, is good to go. Express tools, of course, and content pack. So I also want to have automatically generated icon to my desktop uh, so that I can fire up my Civil 3D as a plain AutoCAD. I don't want Imperial, but it's up to you uh, because I'm usually metric user. So uh, in which case I select shortcut for metric and also yes, I can see that uh, my current hard drive requirement is about 5.5 gigabytes but I have also enough space. And of course, installation path, you can change it, but I usually keep it as a default location. Scrolling down, yes, all good here, or let's say default options. I then left click on this top bar again, then I can change my installation path, and I also can hit install. And then I can see that my installation starts, Again, I can see how many components or products will be installed. And once this number runs to zero, the installation is hopefully successfully finished. If not, I probably get some messages and uh, those help me figure out what should be changed. Maybe some products should be uninstalled first. But let's do wait because I'm doing offline installation. I do depend of my portable drive or hard drive speed, but it shouldn't take long, maybe less than half an hour. So let's wait. Once installation is finished, you should see a similar screen in where all selected products, components do have those green check marks, which just indicates that uh, this product component was successfully installed. And if you don't see, maybe instead you see a red cross mark, then there is always some notification what could be improved so that next time the installation succeeds. Basically, from here I have only one choice to finish my installation and fire up my new products. It may state you that uh, you do need to restart your computer so my general recommendation is that if you see this message yes please do restart and then after restart you can find your new products from start menu or maybe from your desktop if you chose to include those icons into your desktop right now i hit no and then i can just double check my icons which are available directly from my desktop and one icon is also Civil 3D 2021 and it's metric version. So if I double click on this, my new version of Civil 3D will be opened and I can check some general workflows for this new version. I may get a message that what do I want to do with my default DWG files because I might have different Autodesk products that can be used to open up DWG files, also different versions, then usually I select that my most recent version will be used as a default application. So meaning I select always reassociate, but if you don't want to do that right now, you can do that later, but right now always reassociate. Then I can see a dialog which states do I want to start a trial or if I have a license already then I can also select this option. If I don't have a license, I can subscribe and order new license. Right now I use start trial and this will be my fully working version up to 30 days. So I close this down and my full user interface will appear. I can also see that by default one empty drawing called drawing one is opened, but I can close this down from this cross. Then I can see my general Civil 3D desktop from where I can also create new drawing, open some previous drawing. And if I do that from here or maybe from blue C icon, new, open, or even from this quick access bar, new, open and click new. Then again, empty drawing with default template is created and I can save this, save or save as, just to show that this current version does have AutoCAD 2018 drawing version. So this 
has not been updated or changed, so I can be ensured that my files are compatible also with other versions. It might be a bit different for Civil 3D, but anyway, this DWG file version is important to note with every new version and you can always select how you want to save it. Okay, uh, looks quite similar as previous versions. We have a ribbon with different tools available from the ribbon. Analyze, view, manage. From manage tab, I can find the Dynamo. I can also find the connection to InfraWorks directly from my ribbon. My rail tools are available from different ribbon tab and also my tool space, which is really important palette for Civil 3D user. If I want to get also properties, which is common for AutoCAD, but also for Civil 3D user, then I can go to view and find properties from this small icon. I can then drag it maybe to my preferred location. For example, I prefer to have it on the right hand side, but it's up to you where you keep it. And once you do changes to your user interface, those will be saved. Uh, you have several options for user interface. For example, from this top row, you can select Civil 3D or maybe some standard AutoCAD layout or AutoCAD map planning and analysis layout. But you can also save your current user interface with different name or maybe just overwriting the current one once you do those changes to your user interface. I would also like to point out that after you install the product and maybe you have also restarted, then you have to check also if you have any updates available. And the easiest way to do that is to go to your taskbar and find Autodesk desktop app. You just left click and then if you are logged in, then you see most recent updates from top to down. And for example, for Civil 3D 2021, I already have one hotfix also for storm and sanitary analysis and Autodesk Civil 3D is built on top of AutoCAD, then of course you have to update AutoCAD as well and Dynamo as well. So you can do just update and it will start to run those one by one. After that, you may start your product once again. All right, this was it. Installation of new Autodesk Civil 3D 2021. Maybe in my future videos, I will take a deep dive into some new features. See you then, bye bye. And of course, if you want to get notification about my new videos, then please do subscribe to my channel and you will be the first to get notifications about my new content.